Before starting our topic, let me remind you, don't forget to provide your valuable feedback at the end of video and pressing the subscribe button as well. So, let's start. How to approach a patient with muscle weakness. Let's start it using mnemonics. P3 Maftosa. 3 P's. Present complaint. Past complaints. Personal history. Let's start with present complaints. Do you mind if I ask you what has brought you into hospital? Here, can you please tell me more about it? Which muscles feel weak? From where it started, assess if the weakness is localized, whether this is asymmetrical or symmetrical. Let's ask for further details using mnemonic Sadpura. Onset. How did it start? What were you doing when it started? Is it the first time, or were there previous episodes? Duration. For how long is it present? Progression. Has it been getting worse, or getting better or staying the same? Over what period has the weakness been getting worse? Does the weakness come and go in waves? Where did the weakness first start? Has it progressed to involve other areas? Aggravating factor. Have you noticed what makes it worse? Exercise, carbohydrates, and sodium worsen hypokalemic periodic paralysis, whereas potassium ingestion precipitates hyperkalemic periodic paralysis. For myasthenia gravis, ask, does your muscle weakness get worse as the day goes on? Have your muscles become weaker after a period of exercises, such as walking or cooking? Relieving factor. Have you tried to make it better? Eaton-Lambert syndrome may improve after the exercise. Associated symptoms. Ask about. Muscle cramps and stiffness often associated with myotonic dystrophies. Then check for any clue to respiratory muscle weakness asking any shortness of breath. Next, rule out the presence of any bulbar symptoms. Ask, do you have difficulty swallowing solids, liquids, or saliva? Have you noticed a change in the pitch of your voice? Are you still able to produce a forceful cough? Regarding neurological symptoms, ask about visual disturbances, ptosis, speech disturbance, numbness, and seizures. Furthermore, ask about features of hyperthyroidism such as heat intolerance, diarrhea, and weight loss. Whereas, for hypothyroidism ask about any weight gain, constipation, cold intolerance, neck swelling, and menorrhagia in women. Next, a possible cause of muscle weakness is Cushing's syndrome. Ask about weight gain, stri, thinning of the skin, easy bruising, acne, hirsutism, and oligomenorrhea in women. Moreover, regarding Addison's disease, ask about buccal and palmar crease pigmentation, weight loss, and dizziness. Next, ask about the presence of any rash, as shawl sign and heliotrope rash are associated with dermatomyositis. Then ask about constitutional symptoms, any recent viral illnesses, weight loss, night sweats, any lumps, and bumps may point towards underlying malignancy. Next, inquire about depressive symptoms, ask about mood changes, early morning awakening, sleep disturbances, change in appetite, and suicidal ideation. Now, let's have a quick recall of possible differentials that may result in muscle weakness. Firstly, we are discussing muscle weakness based on time of onset. It may be either acute or chronic onset of episodic muscle weakness. Causes of acute onset muscle weakness include Guillain-Barre syndrome, botulism, organophosphate poisoning, lead poisoning, transverse myelitis, stroke, and myasthenia gravis crisis. Regarding causes of chronic onset muscle weakness include space-occupying lesions in myasthenia gravis. Furthermore, causes of episodic muscle weakness comprises of epikalemic and hyperkalemic periodic paralysis. Regarding distribution of muscle weakness, it can be categorized as generalized, localized, distal, and proximal muscle weakness. Let's discuss the possible causes of each pattern of muscle weakness here. Generalized weakness is caused by myasthenia gravis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and hypokalemic periodic paralysis. At this point, the pattern of muscle weakness will provide an additional clue to narrow your differential diagnosis. Ascending weakness starts from the lower limbs and progress up the body. Causes include Guillain-Barre syndrome and spinal cord disorders, whereas descending weakness begins from the facial muscles and progress down the body. Causes include organophosphate and lead poisoning, botulism, and the descending variant of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Next, we are discussing localized weakness may be caused by 
central or peripheral nervous lesions, neuromuscular junction disorders, and myopathies. Regarding distal muscle weakness, it occurs with sensorimotor polyneuropathies and motor neuron disease. Next is proximal muscle weakness, which is caused by muscular dystrophies and some myopathies. It affects the deltoids, hip flexors, and axial muscles. Past complaints, similar complaints, has anything like this has happened to you? For how long? What did you take for it? Is it well controlled? Medication, what kind of medication do you use? Are you on medication for any disease? Ask about use of corticosteroids, statins, fibrates, penicillamine, antimalarials, zidobutene, aminoglycoside, macrolides, benzodiazepines, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers. Do you have any long-time medical condition? If the patient says yes, then ask how long? Is it well controlled? Ask about any history of diabetes mellitus, thyroid disease, Cushing's syndrome, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, ischemic heart disease, peripheral vascular disease, and previous cerebrovascular events. Ask about hospitalization, saying, have you ever been hospitalized? If the patient says yes, then ask for what purpose? For example, for any procedure like endoscopy. Next step is personal complaints. I'm going to ask you a few personal questions, and whatever you say will be confidential. Smoking. Do you smoke? If the patient says yes, ask, how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? How many cigarettes are there in a pack? For how long have you been smoking? Tell me about your sleep. Do you drink alcohol? If he says yes, proceed by asking what do you prefer to drink? How much? For how long have you been drinking like this? Alcohol consumption causes diamond, folate, and vitamin B12 deficiencies, leading to nutritional optic neuropathies. How is your appetite? Recreational drugs. By any chance, do you take recreation drugs? If he says yes, then proceed by asking. Sorry to ask you, but what do you do? How do you take it? If injecting, ask, by any chance do you use a new needle all the time? For how long are you doing this? Do you use any other recreational drugs? As cocaine and heroin can induce myopathy, weight loss or gain. Have you been weighing on the higher side? If yes, ask about bowel habits. How often do you open your bowels? Have you noticed any change? Sexual history. Are you sexually active? If the patient says no, then ask, have you ever been sexually active? If the patient is sexually active, then ask, sorry to ask you this but are you in a stable relationship? For how long? Do you practice safe sex? Do you use condoms? Are you on any contraception? Did you travel abroad before your symptoms? Did you have any sexual relationship there? If the patient is a woman, ask about 4P, period, LMP. When were your last periods? If more than four weeks, then she might be pregnant. If she is not sexually active, then she is not pregnant. How many days did they last? Are they irregular? Do you get pain? Are you on pills? Pregnancy. If she is not sexually active, so she is not pregnant. Then ask, have you ever been pregnant? Duration of pregnancy? Mode of delivery? How many children do you have? Any miscarriage or abortion? Any complications before, during, or after pregnancy? Pap smear. When did you have your last pap smear? What was the report? Was it normal? If it is abnormal, have you made an appointment with GP? Allergy. Are you allergic to any particular substance or medication? Family history. I am very sorry to ask, but if anyone in your family is diagnosed with a sinister disease, cancer, ask about hereditary causes of muscle weakness, including muscular dystrophies, myotonic dystrophy, periodic paralysis, and charcot marie tooth travel history occupation history what do you do for a living ask about the nature of the job do you have to take frequent days off due to your symptoms botulism or organophosphate poisoning may cause muscle weakness social history where do you live whom do you live with ask how much these symptoms are affecting your daily living do you find climbing stairs getting up from a seated position or combing your hair difficult Assess the requirement of involvement of social support services. Anything else you want to tell me? In the end, take your time for an impression. Then, turn to the examiner and say, Based upon my history, my most probable diagnosis is this. My differentials are this, this and that. And I should have ruled out this and that. Thank you for watching. 
stay connected and subscribe to this channel for more interesting medical professional videos, and good luck with your exam.